welcome to day one of 31 days of horror i'm going to start off with uh i guess a classic uh, uh child's play um i chose this because it is you know chucky is one of the uh bigger horror characters but i've actually never seen any chucky movies um and I actually know very little about the contents of the film Child Play itself. I know the whole premise. Um, I really don't know how it plays out. I really don't know much about the film um, in terms of how much people actually like it. I know more about its legacy. So I don't know if I'll actually like it at all. I'm guessing it might not be really my cup of tea, uh, but I put off seeing it for a while. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess the best I can hope for is that it'll be as good as the Talking Tina episode of The Twilight Zone. So here we go, day one. All right, so I just finished watching Child's Play for the first time. Um, didn't hate it, didn't really like it. Um, not that bad of a film, like as a horror movie, it's okay. Um, but if you're familiar, if you're familiar with Child's Play at all, there's kind of nothing in it for you. Uh, but at the same time, like, if if you're to go into it fresh, like, they don't give you a lot of mystery, like, um, you know, the way they handle the doll coming to life and the origin, like, they, I, I would have liked the storytelling to have given you a little bit of the benefit of the doubt there, um, in terms of maybe you're coming into it fresh, but in terms of, like, a story where, like, you know how it's going to play out, it didn't give that much to keep me that interested, um, Puppetry is really, really good. Um, the animatronics I thought were really awesome. Uh, Chucky himself looked really good. Um, that all works really, really well. All the puppets were really, really good. Um, the force perspective stuff where they had like someone um, like in a, a Chucky costume doesn't age that well, doesn't look that great. Um, it's pretty obvious. Um, I feel like when you have something where someone or the character's supposed to be animatronic. I feel like it's perfectly fine to be a puppet the whole time. It's one of the reasons why I thought the puppetry worked really well. Um, it wasn't heavy on gore. Um, the A lot of the action scenes were really good. The, uh, the scene where Chucky's in a car was really good. I just felt like it needed a little bit more variety in plot. Um, it needed to keep developing, you know? There was a lot of, hey, the doll's alive. Well, I don't believe it's alive, but like, Right from the get-go, you kind of know what's going to happen. I mean, it really shows and tells you and, you know, and foreshadows really clearly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of expecting that going in because uh, uh, I hadn't really heard much about this movie, and I figured if it was really great, then I would have heard about it by now. But, you know, it's it's a classic. You know, Chucky is one of those unique uh, and very famous uh, horror movie characters, and I can see why, you know. Uh, it's an 88 film, um, and, uh, you know, uh, didn't really have uh, this uh, doll coming to life thing as a trope quite as much. Um, anyway, now I'm just talking in circles. So that's what I thought of Child's Play. It was okay. Uh, so that's day one.